Greetings. Wednesday morning, 9.20ish, and it's the 25th of March. Now, last night I had a very in interesting conversation with Jonathan Pickup so, over the use of vector works and his training. I, um, I was online about 10 o'clock last night, which was for him um, about sort of 10 o'clock in the morning. So um, it was um, it was good to do, and it's good to talk to Jonathan for that amount of time. Now I recorded this on a Skype line, and it's both audio and visual, so bear with it. But it's interesting to listen to John. So um, just sit back and enjoy. Um, this is part one of a part two. Um, sorry, this is part one of a two-part interview. Um, it went on for about twenty minutes or so. Um, I've cut it down as best as I can, but I'm still over the limit. So um, part two will come out later on. Hope you enjoy. Cheers and bye. John, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I write Vectorworks training manuals. I run online training for Vectorworks and I've been a Vectorworks trainer for, goodness, the last 15 years or so, um, since the time I was in England. Excellent. Um, what I want to concentrate on, John, is the online training, um, because I've been a participant in that and um, know how well it's gone. But can I have it from your side, um, how you feel it's, it's actually going and perhaps some of the future things that may pan out on it? Well, the, the online training, I, I think there's probably three forms. And, and Steve, you've been involved in one of those, which is the online user group. And the online user group is run like a classroom. That is, I've got up to 10 people together. And what we do is we cover a specific topic each month, and, and some of those meetings are free, and so anyone can attend. And we're quite rigorous about who can talk at what time. It's working really well because it gives me the opportunity to share my skill or my training with loads of people all around the world. We've had someone from Alaska, well, that meeting you were at, we had a, right. a guy from Alaska, you were from Birmingham. We had a couple from the East Coast of America. We had some from New Zealand and Australia. So it does give us the ability to serve a lot of people around the world um, without really um, having to travel. I, I don't know if there's, it's a concern of yours that um, some of our training might take up uh, or have an environmental impact, but this online training course has no extra environmental impact. We're all using Vectorworks, so we've got our computers running anyway, and it means I don't have to travel so much. Yeah, precisely. Um, I know you've been following your, your, monthly, um, your monthly manual, or, or e-training system that you've been doing. Um, and you last talked about the way that that may just split down a little bit, where you'll do um, less of the online training for people who are not part of the system. Are you still going to carry on with that? Well, I'm, I've decided this month to try something new, which is to split up the, um, the online training or the, the free tutorial into three bits. So... Um, one of those meetings will be only for people that subscribe to my information. One will be free to anybody at, at all, and, and I don't mind if people don't subscribe. I'm more than happy for them to come to the free one. Um, and, this, and the third one will also be sub subscriber only. The idea of the subscriber only at, at the um, – well, it, it came about because one of my subscribers said, John, we really miss what you used to do when you used to travel to Auckland. And what I used to do is to make the meetings longer, that would be about 90 minutes instead of an hour, and I used to have quite a lot of face-to-face um, -face time with people so that they could stop the, the training at, at a point and they could then start to ask a question or we could um, discuss how, like I would make a suggestion and say to people, you know, have you tried my suggestion? They said yes and or how did it work for you and whether they liked it or not. And so it's a lot more of an open forum and I'd like to go back to that for the subscribers. Excellent. Uh, that sounds really good. I quite like the way that the system comes through now with the PDF file um, and the interaction on that PDF file. It, it works reasonably well because um, I like looking at things time and time again because, you know, my age of life, yeah, things don't go in that quickly. So I like to go through it and, 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 and see how it goes. Are you going to try and do a little bit more of the, the pod, not the podcast, the um, the online training you do? Are you going to tape it and then push it out to other people later on, perhaps in a cut-up version? Is that perhaps I'm a not route it might go? Well, I'm not sure about uh, how to do that at the moment. At the moment, the PDF file has is a structured way of learning, yeah. and each section of the PDF file has a movie linked to it. 
So the, the question about actually recording what I do and then sending that out to people, I'm not sure about because in a way I've already done that ahead of time by putting the movies in the PDF files. Um, it's a bit like my manuals, so I write Factorworks training manuals. Mm. And, eat, and those manuals have loads of movies, and I'm working on one at the moment. The, the manual's um, 170 pages long, I think, and it's got 60 movies in it. Mm. So there are a lot of movies already there. So the question is, what added benefit would you give people by recording it and giving it out? Because it wouldn't, it may not cover extra ground. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been the successful only... so far. I, I, I quite enjoy both, both versions. Um, uh, the uh, the PDF when it comes through it's always anticipated and it's a really good method. Um, but there again, I, I like the interaction of the um, of the online meetings. Um, um, particularly when there's people on there who will talk to you as well at the same time. I know you have to shut them down every while so you can carry on with the class. But at the uh, the open forum bits of it, it's nice to have a chat with people um, and see how well, they're doing. One of the ideas I do have, Steve, is that, um, and it, it might come out with this new structure where I've got a longer meeting, that is when I've been through the PDF file and we have more of an open question and answer session, the idea would be to record those questions and answers and then give those movies to the user group members. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Uh, that's a good idea. I like that. Because that, that, would, cover, that would cover information that they haven't previously got yeah. or they can't get in another form. There's no point covering it twice, I don't think. If, I, if they've got the PDF file with the movies embedded or the movies linked, then they don't actually need that information again. But if we have an open question and answer session and someone asks a question which hasn't got a movie, hey, why don't I just do a screen capture and then give that to the people that were attending the meeting? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I like the sound of that. Just going away from that a little bit and going on to some new subjects, um, you you know that I I tend to be a two D drawer rather than a three D. Um, what's the reaction of other people around the globe as they as they come on to Vectorworks? Are they two D draftsmen using a better tool, or are they people looking for the three D alternative? I think that there's always going to be people who are thinking two D because of their training or their um the way that they were brought up or the way they've used Vectorworks. And some people are very difficult to change to a more what you might call a building information model type method. Yeah. Um, but interestingly enough, I've just been on a on a rather nice training venture in the last week where someone took me away to an office and, and I was there for three days and we specifically taught them how to move from the 2D to the 3D. Because like it or not, oh, the 3D has some huge huge benefits in working. You know, there's an interaction between different people working, um, the ability to um, get very good information at a very early stage. One of the things we covered was how to, instead of drawing buildings, what about drawing a, a, what you might call bulk and location? So a quick 3D model that creates bulk and location that you can then put onto a master plan site and see how the sun affects each individual house without actually going to the trouble of drawing the houses. Mm.